A few days ago on the 7th of August 2020, Horizon Zero Dawn launched on PC over three years after it launched on PlayStation 4. Considering this game was initially a Sony exclusive and still technically is because let's be honest, PC doesn't count. Shush. I never expected it to come to PC so that three year wait I'm not too fussed about. I played it on PlayStation 4 anyway and absolutely adored it. However, Horizon Zero Dawn has indeed now been ported to PC and... I'm gonna be honest, there's certainly some work that needs doing. Even before I fired up this game on my own machine, it became very obvious that this PC port left a lot to be desired. With many articles talking about performance issues among other issues, so I went in under no illusion that this was going to be the best PC experience I've ever had. And it wasn't. If anyone cares about my relevant PC specs as to what I was using to run the game, here you go. And before any pretentious bastard tells me that the RAM's overkill, please remember that I'm not just using it for gaming. To be fair, for the most part, in my experience, it wasn't awful, it was playable, but that's just because my ridiculously powerful machine was brute forcing it. At times you could tell and it was quite obvious that that's the case, but even my machine was struggling on ultra settings with frame drops, lag, and weird jank out of nowhere. A lot of players have experienced crashing issues and I haven't experienced those myself, but like I said, I can tell my PC's just brute forcing this game, and there were several moments where it froze for quite a little bit, especially in the more densely populated areas such as Meridian. I also stuck the game on the lowest graphical settings just for a laugh, and honestly the only difference is now my eyes were also screaming in pain. Don't worry, I love Horizon Zero Dawn, it's a very nice looking game as well, so it is understandable that it would require quite a beefy machine to run the ultra settings, however, I have that beefy machine, and I feel like at times on the ultra settings, my beefy machine just wants to jump out the window. I'm not saying that it runs horribly, footage that I'm showing is evidence that it doesn't, but what I am trying to say is, compared to the specs that I'm actually running in the machine, this simply is not good enough. I'm not even stressing it too hard, sure it's ultra settings, but the resolution is 1080p, which is practically a walk in the park for an RTX 2080 Ti on a regular day. And when the game allows it, it runs beautifully, but there are so many instances where the game just stutters and I can't for the life of me explain quite why. I'll give credit where it's due, Horizon Zero Dawn on PC fixed one issue with Horizon Zero Dawn that I had on PlayStation, and that is the FOV. On PS4 Horizon Zero Dawn, the FOV definitely felt a little bit compact, which is fine under most instances, but when you're in open combat with a massive robot monster creature, it could get a little bit disorienting. With the option to increase the field of view, that is no longer a problem. It's a simple change that has made more intense combat situations just a little bit less stressful, and that's because Aloy no longer takes up half the screen. It makes seeing where to dodge, for example, a little bit easier to figure out as well. And I mean, if you couldn't adjust that on PC, heads would have rolled by now. So the PC port for Horizon Zero Dawn certainly is not without positives, and in my opinion the FOV is a bigger one than I thought it would be. Another positive is when manually saving you no longer have to obviously go through a PlayStation UI that takes a little while, because why would you, you're not playing the game on a PlayStation anymore, and keeping that save system in game just feels a little bit faster, and I guess that's a minor positive thing. On top of that the game is still Horizon Zero Dawn now accessible to PC players, but these positives are undermined by the fact that this simply is not a well optimized PC experience. Since I don't use AMD specs, I couldn't tell you if it's any different over them ways, but I have heard from somebody that it is a little bit nicer, but that can't take away from the fact that my specs should be able to handle a game like this, and while it does handle it, it doesn't handle it with the finesse that I perhaps expected. With regular freezes, stutter, lag, and in dialogue, sometimes the audio will keep playing, but then the cutscene will freeze, and then it will continue playing from where it froze, and the lip sync will be off, and you know, it's just not pleasant. <laughs> Now, I didn't play an ultra wide or anything like that, so I don't know too much about how that handles, but I did want to mention something that I did find when doing my research before playing the game myself. And I feel like this thing undermines the entire point of having the ultra wide experience, the entire point being you want to immerse yourself in that, but cutscenes are still 16 to 9 just with a zoomed in, faded version of the same cutscene playing behind it to fill the rest of the space. God, that's just horrible. That's a bit iffy in my books, though I wouldn't say this is the first game to not have ultra-wide support carry into cutscenes. Well, at least not in the form that people wanted and expected it. Back to the performance issues front, though, it does worry me a little bit that if my PC's choking on it a bit, how accessible would this game be to a mid-range PC or an older machine? Because not everybody can afford the newest and best technology. PC gaming isn't cheap even long term anymore. Now I'm going to hand it to Gorilla Games here, they've come out and said, we've been monitoring all the channels and are aware that some players have been experiencing crashes and other technical issues. Please know that we are investigating your reports as our highest priority. I love that on the case attitude that doesn't shy away from the technical issues like some companies would. So props to Gorilla for that, because players who've paid money for this game deserve that kind of attitude. But realistically, can you excuse releasing a game in a state where for some players it's simply unplayable and for the vast majority it's jarring and janky? On that one I really 
don't know what to say to you. Lots of players have waited three years for Horizon Zero Dawn to come to PC. Launching with a messy port is not a great first impression, and you'd be right in saying, well, it was a PlayStation exclusive, you're lucky it came to PC at all. But if you're going to do that, release a game on PC, then it's a case of go big or go home. Because in the end of the day, players are paying money to play this game, and PC players are owed no less of a quality experience than those who played the game on PlayStation 4. I'm not going to get into an exclusivity argument here, I simply don't have the energy for it, but if you're paying money for a game, then you're owed the best technical experience possible. Honestly, the thing that got me the most in playing Horizon Zero Dawn on PC was hooking up an Xbox one controller, it really did feel like a war crime. Now, as a final point, I will say this with Horizon Zero Dawn on PC. I have seen much worse PC ports, and I've seen much worse PC ports get fixed and improved to a point where they're passable and playable. So I'm not too concerned long term for Horizon Zero Dawn. I'm sure there'll be a time where the PC port is a bit more polished than it is now to the point where it's no longer this big of an issue, and it does appear as if Guerrilla Games really does want to address that and sort that out. And I don't want to be too harsh on Horizon Zero Dawn's PC port because underneath it, it is an incredible game and when all these issues are behind us, PC players have a genuinely incredible narrative experience to have and I really don't want to dissuade people from playing the game because I know exactly what this game has to offer and honestly it's pretty special. So thanks to Gorilla, I come out of this feeling a little bit optimistic knowing that they've addressed that there's issues with the game on PC and that they need to resolve those. But let me know what you think about the woes of Horizon Zero Dawn's PC launch down in the comments section. Have you played it on PC yourself? What do you think? Have you experienced any issues? Have you not? Let us know. But please, for the love of God, don't be one of those people who goes, I didn't have any issues, so those issues must not exist. Because due to the sheer amount of people experiencing these issues, it's very obvious that they do. I love Horizon Zero Dawn. I look forward to playing the entire game again on PC. I've put in a hefty amount of hours already, but I'm sure I'll put in some more on stream and off stream just for fun. Because I love the game and I know that it can be something special on PC once these issues are out the way. But anyway, that concludes today's video. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, share the channel with your friends and all that wonderful stuff. That would be fantastic. And of course, with any luck, I'll be seeing you all very soon with another video at some point. But until next time, take care and goodbye.